Can you look back now, before the start of the 2022 Major League Baseball season, and tell me this? Who was your dark horse to come out of the National League to not only make it to the World Series, but to win it all? I'm sure some people had the Milwaukee Brewers, the New York Mets, or maybe even the hot pick of the San Diego Padres. And look, I'm just as guilty as anyone else out there of picking one of those teams. In fact, my Dark Horse team to come out of the NL was in fact the San Diego Padres. Then it was the Milwaukee Brewers. But as the season is winding down, I'm starting to see one team and one team alone in the NL that can upset just about almost any team, not in just the National League, but the American League and win the whole dang thing. And that one team is those damn St. Louis Cardinals and that guy over there, Albert Pujols, the Astros killer. Look, before the start of the season, I'm not going to lie, I didn't even think of the Cardinals. I'm going going to be honest. That team did not cross my mind whenever I was checking off my boxes for American League and National League division winners and dark horses from each division. St. Louis has the ninth ranked pitching staff in the league with a 3.76 ERA, a 1.26 whip, and a 246 batting average against. Now you stack that with their top five offense in the league, they can be a stat opponent just for any ball club out there. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that they're the most impressive 91 team in the league that I've seen. Because truthfully, on paper, they aren't. But when you watch this team play, when they get hot, it starts to get scary for some other teams. When you go into the playoffs, you get a four-man starting rotation. And it's considered a luxury if you have a very good 1-2 combo. Well, the Cardinals have more than a good 1-2 combo. They're bolstering out their 40-year-old Adam Wainwright, which is kind of crazy to say, but Justin Verlander is 39 years old and about to be the AL Cy Young, so can't be that crazy. They follow that up with Jordan Montgomery, who came over from the New York Yankees at the trade deadline. Then they hit you with Miles McCullers, who's been very good this year. All these guys combined average a sub 3.5 ERA. And then in the playoffs that's more than good enough to get you through a series. But you also have to contend with their closer, Ryan Helsley, who's been one of the most underrated and best closers in the league so far this year. On top of all of that, guess what? They got the NL MVP and Paul Goldschmidt on their team. They've got one of the best third basemen in all of baseball, and Nolan Arenado. In my opinion, Nolan Arenado has one of the top three gloves in the league, if not the best glove in the league at third base. They also have one of the most underrated second basemen in the league that I don't see a lot of people talk about, Brendan Donovan. The Cardinals 1-5 through five in their starting lineup is very good and very dangerous. When that starting five, it's just three of those guys are hitting out of their minds, complimenting their already top 10 pitching staff in the league with one of the best closers and one of the better bullpens in the league. It's going to be very, very hard to beat this team, especially if you catch them at Bush Stadium. They are one of the best teams when playing at home. And don't let the road record fool you. If they are playing at the highest level and they're streaking, they can basically beat anybody on the road. Doesn't matter who you are. Braves, Astros, Dodgers. They do not care who you are. This St. Louis Cardinals team is exactly like some of the teams that have beat my Houston Astros in the past few years in the World Series. The 2019 Nationals. They beat two of the best teams in all of baseball, the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Houston Astros, to win that World Championship. And then last year in 2021, the Atlanta Braves. Nobody saw them coming. But they beat, again, two of the best teams in baseball, handily, in the Los Angeles Dodgers and my Houston Astros in the World Series. The St. Louis Cardinals give off that same kind of feel this year. Top 10 pitching staff, top 10 bullpen, and a top 5 offense. Plus, they got that guy, Albert Pujols, who is basically the Houston Astros killer. This team is a team that just about any team should fear because they themselves are fearless. With the Los Angeles Dodgers right now and their struggles as starting pitcher to find somebody that can stay healthy enough to pitch for them in the playoffs, the New York Mets continue its struggles with bad teams for some apparent reason, and the Atlanta Braves being hit with some key injuries to Steven Strider and a few other key players. The Cardinals look genuinely healthy and generally healthy and going into these playoffs are going to take down one or two of the best teams in the league that people just are not going to see coming. To me, the Cardinals, they could win it all. They are fearless and they are coming for the National League this year. 
But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Do y'all think that the St. Louis Cardinals are the dark horse team to win it all this year? Do y'all think they are the scariest team in the league right now that nobody's talking about? Do y'all think that they will win it all this year? Would love to know what y'all think in the comment section down below. If you have already, go like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new because I have plenty more videos like this. And I will see y'all all in the next one. Adios, mis amigos. Empire State, till we run the entire state.